this is one of those ones that people are kind of confused about every once in a while when they look at the uh, the list, and that's up or down the ladder, or you could call it uh, most and least improved, or who improved the most and who went into the biggest deterioration or decline. I haven't quite figured out a great way to word this yet, but the, essentially what it is is who went from 0 to 10 and who went from 10 to 0 when it comes to the WWE, uh, WWE hierarchy, which you can check out on the website. So, worst, or rather should I say, who fell from the highest point to the lowest? I, my choice for this category uh, went with Jack Swagger, uh, former world heavyweight champion, down to uh, Ziggler's bitch, more or less, and now even to the point where Ziggler doesn't need him or Vicky anymore, and he's just going to fall further into obscurity. I can agree with that. I would think they should use Vicky more with Swagger as opposed to Ziggler. Um, then I can think they could do a, a Swagger face turn soon, because they'll never turn Ziggler here. Yeah. It can't happen. He's I'd hashtag for him. He's hashtag I'm, I'm sure I'm for him now. I love the guy. <laughs> right. I've always been a fan, actually. But as far as my down the ladder, I was originally thinking Drew McIntyre for this one, but even this time last year, he was already starting to fade away. I'm going to go Morrison. Because it kind of started last year at Mania, his downward spiral. Because he got built up a little bit, and all of a sudden, everything with his personal life, it seems anyway, that's speculation that... Everything with his personal life kind of brought him down with the company, and now he's not even there. At least, I, I personally think that the fact that they fired him on air, like, Laura and I just got rid of him, I'd love, to, I'd love to see him come back. Right. Like, in the Rumble, or I, I part of me feels like he's not really gone. Dressed up as Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, for right now, I'm, I'm going to say Morrison. He had the biggest job. Because he's someone I saw had so much potential. He reminded me of a young Shawn Michaels. There's so much he could have done, and it just seems like, I don't know if it's his fault or not, but he blew the, blew the opportunity. i got to go with Drew McIntyre, actually. Uh, the best way of wording it is he goes from the chosen one to not being chosen to play at all. Yeah. So you never see him on Raw yeah. anymore. I have the WWE All-Stars game, which has like you know selected people as far as like their best of the best, the current okay. roster. Swagger and McIntyre are both in that game. Yep. And Morrison. And Morrison, yeah. But uh, McIntyre, I was very critical when he first came in here. When they started pushing him right off the bat, they made him and uh, was Tyler Rex, were no Eric Escobar, were oh, in yeah. their uh, bragging rights match, and I thought it was a huge mistake, which they ended up fixing right beforehand. But then they started pushing him even more. They started they gave him the Intercontinental Title. Then that wasn't enough. We have to give him something else. Let's give him the tag team title with Cody Rhodes randomly. All right, well let's make him the chosen one. Let's have him beat pretty much everybody on the roster, and for what? They just dropped him this year. I don't know if it's because of the things with Taryn, a.k.a. Tiffany, or if they just realized that they pushed him too far, too fast, or if he pissed somebody off backstage, or if they want him to cut that stupid ponytail and he says no. I don't know. But there's a huge fall from Drew McIntyre. And right now, actually, he started at a level that I didn't think he was good enough for, and now he's at a level that I think he's better than. So... All right, when it comes to who went the highest up, who do you think? <laughs> Zack Ryder, the Long Island IC. Not even on TV in January, now the United States champion. He's going to take over the world, buddy. <laughs> Bicycle! It's a bicycle! Oh, it's Zack Ryder up. Random <laughs> Dusty Rhodes. I don't know what's going on here. I got papers. <laughs> All right, who's your pick? Woo, woo, woo. You they know. knows it. <laughs> you know. I'm going to go with Zack Ryder also, because I remember... I get together with some people for Royal Rumble, and we usually like pick numbers out of a hat, and we try and bet as far as if our person's gonna win. And I remember someone getting Zack Ryder. Gotta suck who gets JTJ. <laughs> and I remember the friend of mine who got Zack Ryder, us making fun of them the whole time because there's no chance in hell this person's gonna go anywhere. <laughs> and sure enough, he got eliminated in no time because he because at the time he came out with that weirdo half tights half. That was I awesome. loved that. <laughs> I loved, it was so I liked it, but it was so weird. It's like what the hell is this? And I, he was he was a joke, and he flipped that around so much in the past year. Now he has like the highest selling merchandise of anyone in WWE because of me. Yeah, it's because <laughs> of him actually. <laughs> um, he has made the biggest improvement, and I could see them pushing him a long way. I would say probably within two years, Rumble or heavyweight title. Yes. I would I would think so at least within the next two years that they're gonna push him. Well, I know two people that are gonna get their asses kicked. Two people that are going to get their wigs split. 
because Mark Henry is going to beat them up, beat them up, break their necks, break their necks. I'm going with Mark Henry on this. I've been a big fan of Mark Henry for a long time, and I've defended him on a lot of different forums and everything that everybody says, oh, he can't work, oh, he's too slow, oh, he's shit, they should just fire he's him, everything guy. like that. I've always said Mark Henry deserves better, he deserves to be a world champion, and I loved it when he became a world champion. I've been for him the entire time. And I think this whole heel turn that he's done has been the best work that he's done his entire career. Oh, I know. Second best. Sexual talk. Sexual talk. Yeah. <laughs> the fans of Philadelphia seem to know that. I wasn't even yeah, there. I, I watched it on TV, and he walks in the ring, and all you hear is sexual chocolate chant. Chris Urban. Chris Urban. And uh, I don't know if you heard it at TLC, but that was, well, was again, two <laughs> nights in a row, he gets a sexual chocolate chant because it was. I ain't a move for no jokes. <laughs> So I gotta go with Mark Henry on that. He went from somebody that I thought was a main eventer and nobody else for the most part thought was to now the guy, although it's a shame he's gonna be injured for a while. Alright, All right. Uh, we're gonna go with the best and worst mic skills in WWE. Worst, what do you think? I went with Sheamus because he can't enunciate. <laughs> Fact is, <laughs> I was going to say Swagger, but he's actually fixed his voice. Because he, he doesn't have the lisp anymore. Yeah. I think that's why he hasn't been on air as much. He doesn't have a voice Yeah. So I'm going to go Michael Cole. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that, man. Not, not JR? <laughs> no. No. I can understand JR more than Michael Cole. I hate that, man. Fruiting! <laughs> and i got to go with Sin Cara. Because the way that I tried to figure out how I could vote what for my like, skills. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I had about... Ten people listed. Heath Slater. Of course, I had to put Heath Slater <laughs> down there. <laughs> I had Heath Slater. I had Unico. I had Epico, who hasn't cut a promo yet. I had Primo, who I don't think he's cut a single promo, but I don't know. I don't really watch NXT anymore, or Superstars, or anything. Uh, a whole list of people, laundry list, that I couldn't decide which one was worse. Because how do you compare shit with shit? And then I realized, you know what? Why don't I compare shit and shit to the guy who says shit, but in Spanish. So, you know, <laughs> Sin Cara's cut up, what, maybe three promos the entire year, yeah. and they're all in Spanish, except for maybe when he goes like, I love WWE, or something like that, and they've been horrible. So, fuck Sin Cara's <laughs> <mic> skills. <laughs> it's the nicest way I can say Damn. this. And uh, I'm being very nice about that. <laughs> Best uh, mic skills. I feel like this is going to be an interesting one right here. I... It was a tough choice for me. It, it came down to two people. Uh, the guy who lost was our truth. I just anytime he's on the mic, it's it's a comic treat. Uh, I went the with pigeons Sam. would have won, but yeah. they don't talk. The pigeons don't talk, so they're they're excluded from. They could have got worse mic skills. Maybe. Right? The same car is still Maybe. worse than that. The same car is still worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, I went for best mic skills. Have to go with CM Punk. That promo he cut in July was just amazing, and it got people interested in the product again. I'm going to have to agree. I mean, I originally wanted to say our truth to this because it, they were just so damn funny. But what it boils down to, I started becoming a wrestling fan again The WWE. It's one of those things I casually watch, but now I make sure to watch every week because of CM Punk. And it all started with that one pipe bomb promo. Mm -hmm. And I almost gave this to our truth and gave it to CM Punk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, our truth. The man. You just got got. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> you just got okie doke by Smart Out Moment. <laughs> Uh, same reasons. That one promo, uh, that was one of the best promos I've ever seen. One of the craziest things I've ever seen with WWE because I didn't see that coming at all. Yeah, and it hasn't been anything just been like that since Austin. On fire. Oh, yeah. And it came down to the point where like you're you're messaging your friends on Facebook. Are you are you listening to Raw right now? Do you see what he's? Can you believe they're letting him say this? It was yeah. it was fascinating. Paul Cabana was trending on Twitter. Yes. <laughs> Pure six brawl. <laughs> All right, switching it up a little bit to <laughs> the best and worst ring skills. Worst? Worst. Worst, I'm going to go with, uh, this was tough because, like he said, comparing shit to shit earlier. Uh, I went with Mason Ryan. Batista 2.0 is horrible in that ring, and he's acknowledged the fact that he sucks as well. So, <laughs> Michael Cole. <laughs> I hate him. I don't want to see him in the ring in his orange thing. You're not a coal miner, huh? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to Cole, Cole Miners just dig for shit. <laughs> now, I was thinking about giving this to Michael Cole. And I was thinking about giving it to Jim Ross when I started thinking about that because Jim Ross was worse than Michael Cole. <coughs> in my opinion. It's been a ruin. But I thought, you know what? <coughs> That's not really that fair. 
because if I would do that, I would obviously give that to anybody who was doing any of this kind of stuff. So I figured, I'll just pick the one thing that nobody's going to disagree with me on and pick the great colleague. <laughs> I don't know. That shot the not, was wicked. The not so great colleague. <laughs> <laughs> Him versus Arnold at WrestleMania, I would pay big bucks for. Uh, just I, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to fight. Let's see if I, I want him to have a political debate. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I, I would probably buy a pay-per-view and watch it. Blah, blah, blah. But maybe yeah. you should add Sarah Palin in there and make it completely yeah. fucked up. She'll moderate. By golly. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah Palin and Donald Trump moderate. <laughs> Best ring skills. Um, up until the December 19th edition of Raw, uh, it was Alberto Del Rio. I'm going to stick with him. I, I've never seen a botch in most of his matches until he, he almost killed himself the other night. <laughs> uh, but it seems like most of his matches are a very well-rehearsed routine. And it, it, it flows. Uh, Ricardo Rodriguez is clearly the personality behind that man, but when it comes to the in-ring work, I think Del Rio has it hands down. Daniel Bryan. I've been a Bryan Danielson fan for years. First Ring of Honor show I ever went to, I saw one of his matches, and it blew me away. It's one of the best matches I've ever seen. It was early 2007 against Nigel McGuinness in Philadelphia. Look it up. It was a fantastic Give match. homework. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> but even seeing him in WWE, every now and then, he just comes out with these moves. They don't let him do as much as much freedom as he has in the indies, but every now and then, he'll do these moves that it starts like in an arm bar, and all of a sudden, he's got him in like a triple Boston Crab ankle lock crazy shit. <laughs> and it's like, how is this That's even the possible? Name. The crazy <laughs> shit. It is crazy shit. <laughs> Um, It'd be a good finisher. Like, how is this even possible to do to the human body? And how do you even get it on someone? And he does all these moves. It's just, he, I think he deserves more credit. I know, uh, I'm, I, with two people that aren't the biggest fans. I agree with you 100%. I'm going with Daniel Bryan. I, I agree. He's a great wrestler. I just feel like the, the pool of talent he's working with in WWE is not up to his level. And it makes him look bad. Because he'll try to slap a move like that on there, and then someone like your Mason Ryan would be like, uh, squ Ooh. squash. I don't know what to do. I gotta disagree with that. I gotta say, there's a reason why he says that uh, he's so damn good, and that is Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler, I think this might be the second year in a row, I don't remember for sure, I might have given him the best ring skills last year as well. My match of the year last year was Daniel Bryan against Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, oh, that, that was fantastic. As much as I'm not the biggest fan of Daniel Bryan, I do give credit where credit's due, even though TNA fans don't think I don't know. Uh, <laughs> TNA fans? Yeah. There's some, there's some of them out there. TNA. <laughs> uh, Dolph Ziggler, though, I think is the man responsible for that. Mm. Because Dolph Ziggler, I don't think I've seen him have a bad match in two years, let alone just this year. And when he comes out, the perfection, the show-off, how damn good am I... There's a reason for that, and I don't think that they would be having him wrestle double matches on pay-per-views repeatedly. Oh, I can agree with that. Yeah, if agree they that. didn't agree that he was one of the, if not the top guys. And I'm sorry, Sam Punk, because I know that you keep saying you're the best in the world and everything like that, but I think Dolph Ziggler has everybody beat hands See, down. I think he is, I think the reason that match with Daniel Bryan works so well is because they could work with each other. Mm -hmm. I think right. Ziggler is someone that will put other people over, but also make them look good in the process. And though Ryder has the personality, I think it's really been Ziggler a lot that's been pushing him to get so as far as he is right now. But like, it makes him look great in those matches. My, my second choice for match of the year was Ziggler and Punk, the, uh, where they did the U.S. Championship. That was versus, fantastic. Uh, WWE. I that, 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 that was one. a great match between them and hopefully a prelude to a WrestleMania match. But it was definitely, uh, it was up there, nipping at the hills and Christian and Orton. I forgot about that one. That was a fantastic match. So that does us for the technical side of the awards, and uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to break this video up yet, but possibility that this is one section, so if you do, then check out section two. If I'm breaking it up into more, then you're on section three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have no Just idea. Just keep watching. We'll probably be on a playlist in the next video. I'll play right after this, right now.